Hi, this is Will Cook with the Will Cook Group at Keller Williams Luxury Homes. Welcome back to my video blog. Today, I'm going to talk to you about three telltale signs that you've overpriced your home. If you're selling your home, you need to understand that pricing your home correctly from the beginning is absolutely critical. The most common reason that homes don't sell is because they're overpriced. And overpricing can cause damaging effects. The probability is that if you price your home too high from the beginning, you're going to end up with less money in your pocket when you actually do sell. And that's certainly not the goal of selling your home. If you make if you happen to make the mistake of overpricing your home, it's important that you identify the error and make necessary adjustments quickly. So how do you know if your home is overpriced? There are actually many telltale signs, but we're going to talk about three of them today. The first sign that your house is overpriced is that you've had very few or no showings at all. Excitement is a very common emotion for sellers. They're generally very happy that their house is on the internet and it's, it's and it's being your house is on the market and it's being advertised all over the internet. But what happens when weeks go by and there have been only a few or worse no showings at all? Well, that excitement turns to concern and frustration. If this sounds familiar, it is likely that your home is overpriced. In a low inventory environment, like the one we are experiencing now in the Greater Palm Springs area, if your home has been listed for sale for a few weeks and you've only had a couple of showings, it would be advisable to adjust the price in hopes of generating more activity on your house. The second sign that your house is overpriced is that you only received lowball offers. Most overpriced homes will not receive any offers at all. However, it is possible and homeowners who overprice their homes and still receive a couple of offers should feel somewhat fortunate. It's a good chance that if a home is overpriced, the offers received would be considered lowball offers. However, if a home is overpriced and the offers are much less than the asking price, is it really fair to consider them lowball offers? If you're selling your home and you have received several offers that you would consider lowball offers, then you may need to reconsider that whether your initial price was the appropriate price or not. And the third telltale sign that your home is overpriced is if it doesn't sell and the listing expires. It's possibly the most obvious way to know that your home is overpriced. If a home doesn't sell and becomes an expired listing after six months on the market, it's not because there are not ready, willing, and able buyers in the local market. So instead of blaming it on the lack of buyers or the local real estate market, it's important that sellers look in the mirror and realize that their home was overpriced. Every home has a price tag that is acceptable to home buyers. If a home's listing price is relatively close to a number that a buyer considers fair, then it will sell and not expire. The number one reason a house sells is because it was priced right. Determining the list price of a home is such a critical piece of the home selling puzzle. If you put the correct price on a home, it will sell in a relatively quick time frame. If you choose to overprice your home, it will either not sell or it will take months or more to sell. If you choose to overprice your home, remember that you will likely receive less money in the end than if you would have priced it correctly from the beginning. If you have questions about the value of your home, we'd love to be your resource to help you sort that out and come up with the right price. Please feel free to reach out to us. As well, if you have any other real estate related topics or questions that I could answer, please also feel free to reach out to me and I'll make a video blog about it. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.